Just because I know for a fact that something is fake and not real and definitely a video game doesn't mean that I won't develop a lifelong fear of it because I'm a little baby. These are the top five spookiest video games. Ooh. Number five, Slender. So the game itself is not that scary. You're just kind of like running through woods and different houses and stuff trying to find pieces of paper. But the lore surrounding it is freaking terrifying. Slenderman is a creepy pasta that has turned into an entire world in of itself. He's super, super tall. He has no face. He's really pale. He wears a suit and he walks around places taking kids and telling them to do stuff that they shouldn't be doing, like killing their friends. If you guys haven't heard, these two girls took one of their friends into the forest and stabbed her a bunch to try to sacrifice her to the Slenderman. Fortunately, she did not die. She did live to tell about how dumb her fucking friends are. Those aren't your friends. Those are tiny devils. Number four. Five Nights at Freddy's. Five Nights at Freddy's is essentially a Chuck E. Cheese hell wherein devilish animatronic robots come to life and try to murder you. So anybody who knows a damn thing about me knows that nothing scares me more than the personification of animals. Hey animals, do me a favor, shut your goddamn mouths. You play the security guard, you're sitting in a room, you're looking at all the monitors, and then all of a sudden, one of the happy singing bears is coming to get you, and there's no way to stop it. Or is there? I don't know. I've never beaten the game. Anytime I start to play, I unplug my computer, shut it, throw it at a wall, and then go cry in my bathtub for three hours. I don't know if that's part of the extended gameplay. You're too scurry. Number three, Condemned. Condemned is a breath of fresh air in like a really sick and disgusting way. You play an investigator and you're hunting down a serial killer by exploring all of his uh, fucking disgusting crime scenes. And in case you're new here, true crime is kind of my thing. What I love most about this game is that it plays on basic human fear. Fear of the unseen and fear of the unknown. When you're in combat scenes, the focus is all shifty and the light is really shitty and terrible and that mimics a true panicked response to being attacked. If somebody were to attack me, all I would see was red and I would just hurry, hurry, fucking knife the shit out of them. Just stay inside your house, please. There's nothing but terrible shit and serial killers outside. Number two, amnesia. As the title suggests, you have no clue what is going on. Amnesia is a first person survival horror game that takes place in a German castle. All you're doing is running around this fucking terrifying castle, hiding and waiting for the monsters to leave. So my instinct is to just David Blaine it, stay in the shadows and hold your breath for three years. But guess what? You can't do that, because if you stay in the shadows, you go crazy. So you could be just batting at the air and nothing is there, you waste all your energy, then you die of exhaustion? That is the lamest death and I won't accept it. Number one, PT or Silent Hill. PT or Playable Teaser was released as a trailer for Silent Hill by the genius Hideo Kojima and Guillermo del Toro. How goddamn cool is that? It is too cool. So you're circling around a family hallway trying to search for clues that'll break you out of this endless loop. You are confronted with new terrifying things every go around. And they're not huge things. A monster won't pop out at you and be like, boogie woogie woogie. It's small, weird, unsettling things. That's the thing about this game. You never know what you're looking for. Why is the phone ringing? Why is dad missing from this picture? Why is the wallpaper upside down? Why did I notice that the wallpaper is upside down? This game turns you into a crazy person. But unfortunately, it was ripped from the shelves before it was ever released. Why? I don't know. Somebody please tell me. I'm super bummed about it. Well, there you have it. I'll never sleep again, but hey, you're worth it. I know for a fact I missed a million horror games, so please let me know what you're playing in the comments below and let's go crazy together. Tap here to subscribe to Snarled, tap here to watch more videos, like this video, and also like yourself. Hey guys, it's time to start loving yourself.